Okay, so if you read this question, again, they talk about position vector. So remember that position vector means I'm talking about OA, which is A, and this is equals to 2i plus k. I will usually put it in 2ijk form, so this is 201. And then OB is equals to B, which is 2, negative 3, 1. Uh, the point C lies on OB produced. So you can see there is OB produced such that OC is equal to. So that's the next information. They tell you that OC is equal to 2 times of B, which is 2 times of 2, negative 3, 1. You don't need to multiply in at this point. It's totally fine. Okay. So part 1, when you see a certain ratio like this, okay, it means we, are, we need to do ratio theorem. And how we do ratio theorem? Always put O at the top. Okay, let's draw a triangle first. A and B on the most outside. Okay, A N is to M B is one is to two. So A N is one unit. N B is two unit. Uh, be careful. Sometimes the question may be tricky in terms of this. So label this as A. Label this as B. Remember when I. If you are not very sure how to draw the triangle in this ratio theorem, then please revisit the ratio theorem video. 1 cross to B, 2 cross to A, ON is equal to 2A plus 1B over 2 plus 1. Then now all you need to do is to put all of this inside. 2 of 2, 0, 1 plus 1 of 2, negative 3, 1 over 3. Numerator, so for the top, let's just multiply in and add 2 times 2, 4. 4 plus 2, so that will be 6. 2 times 0, 0, minus 3, minus 3. 2 times 1, 2, plus 1 times 1, 3. Okay, over 3, so divide by 3. Everybody can divide by 3 nicely. If not, you can just put the one third on the outside. So that would mean that ON is equal to 2, negative 1, 1. So you can say that ON yeah, is equal to, if the question gives you in IJK form, it's good to put them back in IJK form. 2I or minus, minus J plus K. And this is the first part on how to use ratio theorem. Second part, okay, R lies on ON produced, such that AR and C are collinear. Okay, so first, I, this is talking about two lines. O is at the top. I always put O at the top. O, R lies on O, N produce. So, N is here. Okay? And R is here, sorry. Yeah. Okay? Such that A, R, N, C, R, collinear. It doesn't matter if A is here and C is somewhere in between here. Doesn't matter actually. Okay, you can put it on the outside, but I like to make sure that okay, this is the intersecting point, right? I'm just going to put it like that. Okay, I'm just going to put it like that. If you haven't watched the previous video or if you haven't understand the previous video, so this is how we do when two lines intersect. First, we use this. O R. Okay, is equals to mu times of on. I don't know what is mu, it doesn't matter. So or is equals to mu of on, which is now you can put two negative one k down there. Okay, I'm not sure whether you will you will you will you will find the same thing. Yeah, I think it's fine. That two negative one one. Okay, and then just leave it as that. So next. I can say that AR is equal to lambda times of AC. Okay, why I use AC? Because I have A and I have C already. So AC is C minus A. And what is C minus A? In this case, this question is easier because we are working with numbers. So C is 2 times of 2, negative 3, 1, minus 2, 0, 1. Now I'm going to simplify this. Okay, so lambda 2 times 2, 4, 4 minus 2. So this is 2 minus 6. And then 2 times 2 minus 1. So this is 1. Yeah. So AR is this. Now can I compare these two right now? This is equation 1. This I cannot use first because now we are it is AR. We have to find out what is OR from AR first. Equals to OA 
plus A R. O A is 2 0 1 plus A R lambda 2 negative 6 1. Okay, uh, now if your lambda is there, then you will get a bit of trouble. So I will have 2 plus 2 lambda for my first one. 0, 0, okay, you, I can just conveniently write 0 first, doesn't matter. Minus 6 lambda as well as 1 plus lambda. Okay, so this is my OR. Yeah, this is my equation 2. So now I compare equation 1 and equation 2. Oh, because equation 1 is OR equals to equation 2. Mu times of 2 negative 1, 1 is equals to 2 plus 2 lambda, negative 6 lambda, and 1 plus lambda. I open up the left side. 2 mu minus mu and mu equals to 2 plus 2 lambda, minus 6 lambda, and 1 plus lambda. Okay, so it's quite easy to see that I use the y coordinate because the y coordinate is talking about minus mu is equals to minus 6 lambda. That is the easiest point to use. Oh, comparing by comparing. I can say that mu is equals to uh, 6 lambda. Okay, and so from y, this is from y. Okay, now I can put it into either z or x. It should be the same. So I put it into z. Mu is equals to 1 plus lambda. Mu is 6 lambda. 1 plus lambda. So which means that 5 lambda equals to 1. Lambda equals to 1 over 5. Oh, I found a certain digit for lambda. The question wants the position vector, if I'm not wrong, of, yeah, of R. Okay. So now I'm going to put it back into either equation 1 or equation 2, but I'll put it into equation 2 because I have lambda. So therefore, OR is equals to 2 plus 2 times of 1 over 5, negative 6 of 1 over 5, as well as 1 plus 1 over 5. Put the lambda back into here. Then I will get the answer. So this would be 2 and 2 over 5, negative 6 over 5, as well as 6 over 5 for this. Even if you take out the 1 over 5, that would be actually quite nice. Okay, so this will be 12, negative 6, 6. In fact, you can take out a 6 again. So this will be 6 over 5 times of 2, negative 1, 1. Okay, and this would be the position vector of OR. Okay, so again, the learning point is if you have two points intersect, you must form two equations in terms of O to the point of intersection okay, by using both parallel properties.